So you want to go on an adventure, you want to hitchhike in the United States. What's up guys, it's Pat Daly here in Thailand wearing a hat. This video is seven tips on how to hitchhike in the United States. The mindsets, what I learned, and some tips that you can take with you. Let's do it! It's fun to talk about adventures and hitchhiking trips, but honestly most people talk about them and they never do them. Set a date and talk about it. Talk about it not to make yourself feel better about not doing it and to make yourself feel like you're doing it, but to hold yourself accountable for it. Make it more of a pain in the ass to go back on what you've said than it would be to go forward. Before you go, um, think about a relatable item you can bring with you. This could be a musical instrument. In my case, it was my skateboard. I was actually using my skateboard. When you're on the side of the road, people are making snap judgments on whether to pick you up or not. So having a relatable item makes you a human being. It conveys your humanity to the person. Uh, it helps them feel that you're not actually an axe murderer. And I hope you're not. I hope you're not an axe murderer. So have a relatable item on you. This will help people rationalize a way to pick you up. It'll make them feel better about picking you up. You're not just like some faceless person that they have no clue how to relate to. Um, if you have like a banjo or like a small like bongos or a skateboard, um, people are gonna be, feel better about picking you up. You've never picked up a hitchhiker before, no, or have you? Yeah, the first one. First one. I don't know what inclined me to either. It was a skateboard, you look like, you reminded me of a friend I have in Florida. Uh, yeah. When you're out there on the road hitching, don't feel the need to take every ride. If you're in a heavily trafficked area with a lot of people going by in cars, and it's a good spot, you're surrounded by gas stations, um, if you're in a good spot and a driver is like, hey, I'll just take you four miles up the road, um, it'll be easy to be like, yeah, yeah, further down the road, let's do it. And the driver doesn't mean anything bad by it. They actually wanna help you. Um, but in this case, if, if it's just a short ride and you're in a good spot, uh, it's probably a good idea to turn it down. I just made a mistake. Uh, I was at a really good exit two miles down the highway. Guy pulled over, he said he would take me a couple miles up. I was like, oh, whatever. And I uh, got in and he just took me a couple miles to basically the middle of nowhere. This place looks like, you know where Superman grew up? It looks like that. <laughs> You're gonna hear this one a lot because it's so damn true. Pack light, pack light, but don't let these decisions of what to bring with you and what not to bring with you, don't let them hold you back and prevent you from actually going on the trip. If your pack is heavy, yeah, you'll be uncomfortable. If you have just this heavy pack weighing you down, you're gonna be more miserable. But pack everything you think you need. Bring more than you think. Bring it. Because when you're hitchhiking and you have this big pack with you, you'll know. You'll Then you'll know what not to bring. You'll throw shit away. You'll throw your stupid hat that you brought with you. Like so you'll you'll figure it out. Like I don't know what you don't what you as a person want to bring with you, and I don't really know what you should bring with you, um, other than a few necessary items. But only you can find that out, and only you. The best way to tell is by bringing it all in your pack, and just naturally throwing things out as you go. Throwing out my water pouch. I haven't been using it, and it's just kind of extra weight that I don't really need right now. So. Peace out. A good hitchhiker, a good traveler is resourceful and they're not afraid to accept things that are offered to them. I'm not talking about happy endings, okay? <laughs> I'm talking about money, uh, food, housing situations. Funniest thing just happened. I just got a $5 bill thrown at me. <laughs> it's kind of human nature to be like polite and not take things that are offered to you. Oh, it's okay. Also, your ego gets into it and, and sometimes you're just like, oh, I don't need that, okay? I don't need that from you, thank you. Um, a person offering you something like food or money or water, uh, they're not coming from like this place of like, oh, this person's this poor being, they need, they need my help. They genuinely just wanna help you out on your trip and if they can't give you a ride, the next best thing is to like throw you some money, help you out. So don't be afraid to be resourceful and take what's offered to you. Wow. But yeah, you probably can. No, yeah, I don't. I... But uh, look, just get what you think you can use. Yeah, it. yeah. I got water in here too. You want some of my water? I mean Invite more opportunities into your hitchhiking trip 
by being the person that opens up conversations, being the person that initiates conversations. It pays to be a bit more outgoing when you're on the road. You don't have to overdo it. If you wouldn't have started talking to the other people there in a the restaurant, I wouldn't even give it a second thought. Right. You know, we start talking and it wasn't a necessity. You were doing this for adventure. Exactly. So it changed my mind and I'm not giving it. Okay. No. A lot of times people will see you with your pack, they're all sweaty, hitchhiking, they'll be staring at you, you'll feel it. And um, they actually don't have like the situational confidence to talk to you and be like, hey, what are you doing? Um, but one simple thing, if you just say, what's up, man? Don't be afraid to keep it simple. Just ask the person how their day's going, you know? Say, what's up, dude? Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? You know, stuff like that. So that'll give them the opening to start asking questions. It'll make them feel better about being curious about what you're doing. Um, and they will start asking questions. If you tell them you're hitchhiking across the states, they're gonna be like, holy shit, that's awesome. How can I help? Each of these conversations could potentially turn into a ride. They could potentially turn into um, a place to stay. And even if they don't, you just interacted with a human being and uh, hopefully had a good time doing it. Um, a little bit goes a long way. Fuck it, do it. Hi. Yo, Hi. Where, where did we meet? Uh, Topo. Topo, when did we meet? Uh, yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. And where are we now? Uh, we are on the Continental Divide! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I'm not trying to overload you guys with tips to start thinking crazy about this stuff and like, oh, should I go or shouldn't I? Um, which is actually a good, the next point I want to make. Um, with trips like these, with adventures like these, huge adventures, um, take action first and then rationalize. A lot of people will weigh their options before a trip of this nature and end up coming to the realization that it's not worth it due to their attachment to comfort. Take action. Every little step, make sure it's, it's taking action towards your trip, taking action towards doing this trip. It's silly. Hitchhiking is silly. Adventure is impractical. Let's, let's face it. Um, you're asking people for rides on the side of the road using this symbol. Um, it's not something that a lot of people do. But the people that do do it, the people that take the adventure and actually take action, they really value the experience they had. I've ch it's changed my life, the experience I had. So guys, thanks for watching. Those are the seven tips that will hopefully help you um, get out there, get on the road, stick your thumb out, and uh, have an adventure like you've always wanted to do. Hit subscribe, hit the like button, uh, comment below, ask me some questions. Uh, thanks again for watching. This is Pat Daly from TrueTransient.com. See you later, boom.